for sticking around for video number three on removal of conditions. So you have submitted your petition, you have submitted all the required documentation and you're sitting at home and it's a Friday, you open the envelope that says USCIS.gov and one, it's one of two things. It's either your request for evidence or your interview has been scheduled. Let's talk about the request for evidence. Typically, if you have submitted a, pet, a petition to USCIS, and you have not met your burden. In other words, the service isn't convinced. They'll send what we all have seen and heard me talk about, the request for evidence. Don't panic. Read the letter carefully, figure out exactly what they're asking you for, and resubmit the information. Oftentimes, you'll see in the request for evidence, the service asking you for something that you know for a fact you have already submitted. My legal advice, don't argue with the service. Simply resend a copy of the information they've required. Lo and behold, you have been scheduled for an interview. I want you to go ahead and collect fresh documents. I know you've submitted the application, you've submitted all these evidence, but guess what? It's now a year and a half later. That is how long the service is taking to adjudicate these petitions. So I want you to gather up fresh documents. If in the process you have been divorced, get the original divorce decree. If in the process you've purchased a home, get the deed, the mortgage. If in the, in the last 18 months bef between submission and interview, you've had a baby, go ahead and get the birth certificate for the baby. Go ahead and get all fresh documents that you will take with you to your interview. Some people, the interview will look like the original adjustment of status interview and in that you can walk in and they separate you both and ask you questions. For others, it could be where they keep you together. In any event, you wanna make sure that you are prepared for your removal of conditions interview. At the interview, one of three things may happen. The officer may approve you on the spot. The officer may ask you for more evidence or the officer may say to you, I don't, I need to review your case file in order to make a decision. Hopefully you have impressed upon the officer the validity of your marriage or the validity of the waiver, waived petition you have filed and you're able to get an approval. You will then be eligible for your 10 year green card. For most people, shortly thereafter, they can file their naturalization application, especially if this were a joint waiver. I hope all three videos have prepared you or shed some light somewhat on the removal of condition process. I encourage you, make sure you file your petition, make sure you file your petition on time, make sure you file your petition with sufficient evidence so hopefully you can avoid another dreaded interview. I encourage you to like my videos, go to my page, winterlaw.com, also on Facebook, Diani Winter Funday. Until next time, my friends, walk good.